Hiya Paul, good session of the day, hope you found it helpful. Just a couple of points to run through now in terms of your sort of setup and the swing. Firstly, we had our feet aiming quite a long way out to the right. And as we discussed in the lesson, that's going to really make it tricky now for your sort of right knee, right hip and foot to sort of rotate through during the hitting area. So as a result of that, now your top half will often overtake and come over the top. And because of this, now you're going to get the sensation you're swinging the club too fast. Your arms will be increasing or in, I'm sorry, working faster than the body, getting that sensation. You sort of swing it just to say too fast, where in actual fact, it's just your lower half not working quick enough. The other issue you'll have, obviously, is if your top half does sort of spin round, as it will do, the lower half not keeping up, you'll find the lower half might then sort of lose a bit of balance and again give you that sensation of swinging the club just too quick. So we can just try and get yourself set up a little bit more sort of parallel towards target line. I think on the right hand side in now we're sort of getting closer to where we want to be. As I said, I wouldn't go straight back to parallel. It will probably feel too big a change in the first stages there. So just sort of gradually go through from sort of where you were to here now today to maybe next few sessions getting gradually square to target. And at least then now when we are in this position, I think the lower half wanted to work better. So you can just make your same sort of natural normal swing. So a good setup. If you also move the ball back just a smidgen, but the same normal swing. There's a little bit of a dip there in the back swing. But I think now, if we, as long as we can rotate through the ball, we can see your lower half now is able to sort of rotate and continue on through with the top half's movement. And we can get it through to a nice full finish up on that left-hand side in a lot more balance than we were finding before. As I said, from the left-hand position, you can still hit some good shots, as we did see. But the miss hits, unfortunately, are going to be a bit too more destructive. Okay, Some of your bads are that sort of low, skinny one off to the right. And if you really come over the top too much, then you might get that sort of hard pull way to the left. So if we can line up a bit more conventionally, a little bit straighter with our feet, ball position back just a little bit. At least if you get a slight miss hit now, it's probably like to go down the middle somewhere and maybe a bit short of the green. That's going to be a far better result than one sort of going pin high in 30, 40 yards right or left. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout, Paul, and I will see you soon.